Hello and welcome to more gaming fans. I'm your host Joe Moore here, and this week we have our debut week of the TPL. It's actually not the debut week. I played last week, but uh, I didn't have a layout for it yet, and I didn't record. But it wasn't a good week, so I prepped for the wrong person and everything, so it just wasn't a good time. But this week, um, we prepped for the right person, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get it started here. Um, he brought a really good team. I'm going to go ahead and lead Shredder here. Uh, get some, uh, shell smash shenanigans going. Break a couple walls, hopefully. I'm assuming he leads Grim Snarl or... Yeah, really Grim Snarl to get screens up and such. But we'll see. So good luck, have fun, uh, Trainer Ryan. And, uh, may the better strategy win. So he goes Excalibur here. All right. Interesting lead. So he definitely has the uh, leg up on us here. But we're going to go ahead and Shell Smash. Do we? Oh, no. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and Shell Smash here. I don't expect to sweep, but uh, we will get some good damage off. He's Scarf, too. Did I not have uh, something? All right, well, I don't know what I did, apparently, but uh, sh we should be Tough Claws. Our speed is up. Um, he's Scarfed. I wonder if that makes a problem for us. But we're going to go ahead and go liquidation here. Hopefully get the kill. I'm not sure exactly how much we're able to do here. But hopefully we outspeed. He is Scarf. I don't see us really needing rocks on his side. So, that's why I didn't go Stealth Rocks there. Plus, I really want to put some holes in his team. Alright, so he's probably Water Absorb here. Yeah. Alright, well. We had to do it. We couldn't predict that. So, now we're just going to go Shadow Claw here. And, nice tech on his part. He has Ice Shard. So, our Shell Smash doesn't really get to do anything there. Okay, now, we're going to go ahead and... Let's go ahead and send in Kerchak here. We should be faster than a Lapras. I don't assume he stays in here, so I'm going to U-turn. Oh, and he Dynamaxes here. Very interesting play. Is he Gigantamax form? Yeah, he's Gigantamax form. Okay, so he's going to get screens up, which is annoying. But something we got to deal with. Kerchak's going to go ahead and get the U-turn off. Let's go ahead and go to Tom here. He's probably going to go for the max ice to get the Aurora Vel up. But we're going to lower his stats as well. Alright, we take that very well. And now we're going to go for a parting shot here. <clears throat> I 
And then we're going to go out to um, Alola to just kind of give hits and uh, dish him hits out and get health back so we can kind of waste his Dynamax turns here. But now that he does have a Scarf Mon, I do believe we need to get up the Sticky Web sometime. So we got to play around that as well. And we're going to go Draining Kiss instead of uh, Giga Drain. Because if he does have Weakness Policy, I don't want to I don't want to get that off. Alright, so now we're in the rain. So I do believe the next... Uh, what do you call? The next Max Geyser will probably knock us out. So I am actually am going to go for the, <laughs> the Giga Drain here now. So let's go ahead and get that off. Get our health back. We are in grassy terrain, so it'll do a decent chunk. Eh, that is very defensive. But we do get a lot of health back. Weakness policy, of course, goes off. But it's only a plus one since uh, we were able to get the fighting shot off on it. And the max renaissance comes off again. All right, so we're going to go back to Tom here. And we'll parting shot out again into uh, Ore Beetle and get our sticky webs up. I should have defogged there. So I could have got the screens gone. Well, then again, it would have hit us again anyway and set it back up. So I guess it's better that way. But let's go ahead and get the parting shot off. And bring in Ore Beetle. So I think this will put the attack back down to minus one and the special attack back down to zero. Or neutral, I should say. Well, let's go ahead and go to Francis here. <clears throat> Alright, we're living that no problem. Now we're going to go sticky webs here. Not sure if he stays in or not, but Sticky Webs will help us. So we do get him off. I don't know if uh, Lapras is able to get him out. Alright, go straight into Surf here. And Fiji is going to be a pain and a half to take down. But Auroraville is finally off the board. And uh, now we can go into Tom here. I should have went into Rillaboom and U-Turn. Then again, he could have went for Ice Shard. <sighs> okay, so let's just go ahead and go for the Flare Blitz, just get some damage. And then hopefully we can sweep the rest of his team with our two major attackers in the back. So unlucky for us, our Shell Smash play at the very beginning of the match didn't really get to help us in any way. But hopefully uh, we got enough power in the back. Alright, so Tom got us some good, deep, decent damage off. And if he can do that much damage to uh, Lapras, I'm sure Dragapult can knock it out from here. Let's see. Uh, 
should have had this ready to go. Um, doesn't quite do enough, so I'm just going to go ahead and Dynamax here. And uh, try to take it out with Max Wormwind. Okay, so Fiji is out. He goes Berserk here. Very good play on his part. Man, I knew I should have went Phantom Force. Should have, would have, could have, though. But we do lower his attack stat. Still going to be a game of chunks, though. He's going to take a big chunk out with, uh, with Shadow Sneak. Okay, so he doesn't go Shadow Sneak here, so we should be able to take this thing out. No, it doesn't. Holy shit. So Shadow, Shadow Claw is going to do a decent amount of damage. Oh, critical hit. That's why. I was about to say, I did more than I expected. Now Shadow Sneak's going to do a good chunk here. So now Ice Shard is going to be a problem. Really wasn't what I was hoping for there. Probably shouldn't have Dynamax, but oh well. It happened. Alright, so I'm pretty sure first impressions coming off here. Probably gonna knock us out too. Uh, we'll just go ahead and go for the Phantom Force. Oh, we hang on, and we get the Phantom Force off. All right, so Excalibur should go down here. I don't know if it has anything uh, else priority wise but we're just gonna go ahead and go for the dragon darts and we're really gonna rely on Rillaboom to bring it back All right, so Fiji's caught in the sticky webs. It's going to take a pretty decent damage here by the Dragon Darts. <laughs> Never mind. That thing's just bulky as hell. All right, he's going to go Ice Shard, so we're just going to go Sucker Punch here. Nope, not quite going to take it out either. So, you know, low roll maybe. I don't know. But uh, you saw how well it took the Dragon Dart, so it probably wasn't the roll. Now we're going to go ahead and see what Kerchak can do here. Probably going to go down to that first impression, of course, because, I mean, that boy's just strong. And I don't know if uh, first impression uh, out priorities Grassy Glide, but we're about to find out. So, Grassy Glide here. So Rillaboom, let's go ahead, put in some work. Hopefully you uh, out-prioritize the first impression. It really all comes down to that. I think uh, Rillaboom can take out the rest of the team, pending. I didn't really, I don't really remember exactly everything he has. <sighs> but we'll see. So Artemis, 
Okay. Uh, we're going to have to go knock off here. So I guess we are not going to sweep. Ice Beam probably knocks us out here because we are not tanky tanky. So yeah. Oh well. GG to Trainer Ryan. And we fall to 0-2 personally in this league.